What's happening, Runehammer Clan? Hawk Runehammer here with another Minecraft tutorial. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different. Today, we're going to be working with redstone, and I'm going to be teaching you how to build the rotating light from our lighthouse showcase that I uploaded a while back. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, so to get started, all we're going to need is some redstone lamps, a lever, or a redstone torch, redstone and redstone repeaters. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this. Jump right on into the pattern. So I've laid out this stone floor as you can see and it's gonna, gonna be sort of our guide and it's also gonna help us to see the redstone better. So we're gonna start out with this. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, then we're gonna go one, two. And we're gonna put a material here. It doesn't really matter what this is. The stone is just sort of our material. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. The reason we're doing these corners here like this is because when we set up a redstone, the the redstone signal won't reach uh, this block. We could set it up to maybe reach the bottom one, but uh, not two if we wanted to make this too high, so that's why this block is there. And hopefully you can follow along with this without me having to explain every single, you know, count every single one of these out. Um, that's it. That's our basic design. So now for every lamp, for every redstone lamp that you placed, place down a redstone repeater. And hopefully you can just follow along with this and know what I'm talking about. Oops, try not to set any ticks on it yet. So if you do that by accident like I did, just go ahead and set it back to the um, to the normal position because you don't want any delays on this set of repeaters. Otherwise, it's going to mess up your lights. All right, so there we go. One repeater for every lamp. So... Here we go. We're going to go ahead and set our redstone dust down, just like so. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Three in the corner. Five, three in the corner. Five, three in the corner. All right. So we are starting to take, um, to starting to look like an actual circuit now, but we're missing uh, our directional components. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lay down some more redstone repeaters. And depending on which way you want this to go, if you want it to go to the left, if you want the lights to circle counterclockwise to the left, place your repeaters facing that way. If you want them to go to the right, obviously face them towards the right. And we're not going to worry about timing just yet. We're just going to replace our repeaters, and I'll get to that in just a second. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to fill those gaps in with redstone. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Now, for timing, I don't suggest using anything less than two ticks. So one, two, one, two, just like that. However, that's going to end up having a, a really speedy light. Um, so I would, I would suggest more so that you go ahead and place your repeaters to the final position. So we're gonna go ahead and do that to all our repeaters really quick. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, three, and one, two, three. That should be all of them. All right, now the only thing we have left to do, run some redstone out here and we can set our lever down. We could go ahead and have a single light like this or we can have a double light like so. Now, if you have a single light, I would suggest setting your redstone repeaters on the circuit to two ticks if you have a single light. Kind of looks better that way. Um, you can toy around with it. You can play with the, the speed and adjust it how you want to. But that's just my suggestion. If you have two lights going at once, I would suggest having it in the final position or at three ticks. So, let's go ahead and test her out really quick. Let's Throw the lever. And as you see, we quickly switch it on and off. 
and there we go. We have a working, uh, we have a working redstone uh, lighthouse basically. So, uh, watch what happens when I add a light. It lights up too. Now, if I had a third one, that one doesn't light up. That's because the redstone uh, signal only transfers up by one block. So this really works out if you want to have um, a two high. A uh, two block high redstone lamp. Now if you want three blocks high That's gonna be a little bit different and I'm about to show you that right now So if you'll stand by for just one second, I'll get things set up. All right, we are back and um, You must be thinking well wait a minute This is only two high. I thought you said we're gonna learn how to do it three high. Well, we are as you can see, I've raised up the platform by one, and I have a light here, here. So if you're ever going to do a lighthouse that's more than just too high, you can actually bring the light down, or I'm sorry, set the platform at the same level as the bottom row of lights, then do your circuitry, and that way, when you flip the switch, you've got a nice, big, bright lighthouse. And that's it, guys. That is it. It's not very complicated at all. It's actually a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple redstone cloth mechanism, and that's that's really all there is to it. And um, if you want to see more videos like this, more redstoning videos, again, I'm not a redstoner. But the things that I do know, I'll pass on to you guys, and hopefully you'll learn something new. Uh, this is just stuff that I picked up over the years by experimenting and um, seeing other people, honestly. Um, now, the, uh, the, the thing about uh, the, the redstone is uh, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be that complicated for you to... Uh, to, to get some nice effects out of it. So if you're not some, you know, redstone mastermind or genius, I, I'm certainly not, um, you know, a little bit of simple redstoning can go a long way to making some really neat builds. Now imagine if we had made a lighthouse with like, a, this is just a glass, um, you know, a, it's sort of a glass uh, ring with maybe a beacon in the middle. That wouldn't have been nearly as as neat and interesting as, and exciting as seeing that lighthouse come to life like this so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i know it wasn't my normal content um but i really had intended ever since i made that lighthouse video i had intended to break down this circuit so that um you could easily follow along and create your own so go forth and conquer guys go forth and build be creative and until next time, I'm Hawk Runehammer signing out. Make sure you leave a like and a comment if you have anything to say at the bottom of the video. Thank you guys. Peace.